All right, how's it going, everybody? Overpowered Yeti here, and we are just, I don't know, an hour away or so until Guilty Gear Beta comes out. So what I wanted to do before that was I wanted to take a look at the, uh, they just made starter guides for the characters that are going to be in the beta. And I want to kind of just look over them, kind of review them, kind of do my thoughts on it, my reaction on them. Um, and just mind you, I am a new player. So this comes to me and is great for me because I am new. I don't know all the mechanics. And the new mechanics of the game or how they play or any of the characters anything like that really so this is going to be a great thing for me to watch and uh, learn up and check up on the characters because i don't know anything about them i haven't played all the other ones or know any of the other ones so this will be fun see how helpful this is for me and you guys and kind of get you you know you guys can get uh you guys can kind of get my reaction on it and see what i think coming into this as a new player let's take a look at all these I uh, had to do the Potemkin one first because I feel like he's going to be the, the main one I want to try. Yeah, I'll be trying him first. The big boy is grappler. A that uses his powerful command moves to get through his opponent's defense. Destroy your opponent with his overwhelming pressure. Potemkin Buster. An inescapable grab move. It is much more powerful than a normal throw and also has a wider range. The move's fast startup and wide range makes it an extremely powerful move at close range. Dang, that's some big nothing. damage. Potemkin grabs the opponent in midair and blows them away when it hits. When the opponent blocks this move, they will be pulled down to the Dang, ground. Dang, look at all the damage he's doing just from grabs. Offense. Oh, they can block it, but then you still get in the air, a setup you get Oki okay from it? Your plus? Potemkin Buster. Mega Fist Forward. Ooh. Potemkin does a forward jumping attack that must be blocked while standing. Oh, it's an overhead. Using okay. this move, Potemkin is able to leap forward to avoid the opponent's incoming attacks nice. and attack at the same time. That's cool. Ooh. Use this move when you fight oh, and you can combo off of it? Oh, shit. Mega Fist Backward. Potemkin does a backward jumping attack that must oh, be blocked Oh, so we can do it backwards too. Standing. Okay. So it's not just As a normal jump recovery and a button. It's an actual Potemkin command button. Ooh, that flip. Earlier than the opponent, even if the move was guarded. Use this move when the opponent is approaching from the ground. Oh, damn. That was a cool-ass combo. Slide head. Potemkin slams the ground, sending a low, blockable quake that travels full screen. It's kind of slow. It is well, I mean, that could be kind of a mix-up, right? It is at a distance. Yeah. Hammerfall. Potemkin lunges forward, arms spread. Oh, he's got charge moves. Oh, okay, so you got to hold back to hit forward. He is able to armor a single hit when he is lunging forward. Oh, and he has armor coming into it? Yes. When you want to close the distance between the Okay, and okay. The so that's how you're going to be able to get in. You can jump in or you can you can armor through. Recovery. That's cool. Hammer fall break. This move allows Potemkin to come to a sudden stop during the Oh, he doesn't have to hit the hit? Potemkin Does he get the armor? earlier from this move as he stops without attacking. It is a great tool to approach with as he is able to advance while enduring an attack. Oh, so you do. Deep. The attack still. Ooh. Potemkin does a flick with his finger, reflecting oh, any do. incoming projectile while. Was it a half circle for a flick? The button when inputting the command. Wait, did he push it back? Increases the move's damage. Increases the move's the button when inputting. Game. Holding the button when inputting the command of this move increases the move's damage. This move is most effective when you. Oh, I gotta go back. I missed it. I missed it. What was that? FDB. Potemkin does a flick with his finger, reflecting any incoming projectile while attacking. Holding the button when inputting the That's command awesome. move increases the move's damage. This move is most effective when you match it with the opponent's incoming projectile. Although the startup of this move is slow, it has fast recovery. Oh, dang, you, you can combo great with move it? To use at mid range. Garida Impact. Potemkin releases a blow that causes the opponent to crumple. Although the startup of this move is slow, it can leave the opponent vulnerable when it connects. Potemkin will be able to move before the opponent even when it's guarded, so you will want to use it aggressively at close range. Like Heat Knuckle, it is a great way for Potemkin to continue Dang, to okay, okay, I see what he did there. He did it on Oki. Potemkin did it on Wake Up. Potemkin becomes invincible and leaps up in the air. Oh, you're invincible? The if they are airborne. You will be able to act immediately in the air, even if you fail to grab the opponent. You can deal Dang, that's gonna be hard. Half, half while they're, they're in the air. I don't think my reactions are that good. Is also unable to guard against this move Holy damage, fifty percent though. I gotta move get better at it. <gasps> oh, you could do it in a combo. Ooh. Guy Gander Kai. I want to see how much damage Potemkin it did. Becomes invincible against strikes, and releases a shockwave around him. The shockwave will create a barrier that travels forward if it does not. Why'd that do so much damage? 
as there is not much opening after the barrier is generated. This move is great for chaining the flow of the battle to your favor. The forward moving the barrier up? also makes it easier for Potemkin to advance. Yeah, you can run in when he's getting the hit by that. The main goal is to catch your opponent with a Potemkin Buster. Use the standing heavy slash and sweep in neutral, and get in closer with Hammerfall and Mega Fist forward. Once you are in range, pressure the opponent by making them guess between a normal hit and throw. Use Ooh. Heat Knuckle if you catch them jumping away from you. Dang, he's got a lot of moves. Them Dang. Projectiles from a distance. Thank you for watching. Alright, that's cool. He's got a lot of things that he can do. Alright. I'm excited. And that's a, that's a cool reference, too. Like, it shows all the moves, shows what you can do. Gives you, you know, steps on what you want to do and how you want to do it. That's pretty cool. I like these. Let's go to another one. The Temkin was definitely the first one I wanted to uh, use. I've looked at a couple of these. Not all of them, though. Let's go to bad guy. Fixed intervals. Alright, so... Soul is another one that looks cool because he's got that dragon install, but I'm not sure if he has it here. Soul is a character with great anti-air and rushdown moves. He is strongest at close range. Make use of his special There's moves a rush to close down. in on the opponent. Ooh, Gunplay. that looks awesome. Soul launches a ground-based projectile of fire pillars. They appear at fixed intervals, gradually extending the range of attack over time. Over time? So you just keep doing it and it gets further? And, if blocked, give Soul a chance to close in. Hmm, I wonder how that works. Faint. Okay, so it cancels it. Oh, it doesn't, the faint doesn't even do it. Okay. Projectiles. This allows him to move earlier, giving him the chance to go on the offensive. Oh, so he's plus. Punished. Oh! Volcanic Viper. Soul becomes invincible and strikes right, above DP. him while rising in the air. There are two versions of this move, the slash and heavy slash version. Hey, I'm up there. The that looks so the cool. More damage. It will leave Soul more vulnerable if the attack whiffs. Oh, we get a combo blocked. with the two. As Soul rises Ooh. upward while attacking, this move is. Great and you can do it in the air. Coming in from the air. It is also a great move to use after being knocked down or during the opponent's offense to get out of tough situations. This got As the move is invincible. Yep. Bandit okay. revolver. Soul lunges forward with a flying knee. Also, oh, he's got a way to get in too. With another kick when the knee connects, knocking the opponent far away. I oh, doesn't look Soul plus, is though. able to connect this move by canceling it from his normal attacks, making it a great combo to push the opponent into the corner. Good combo enter. Doesn't look safe though after you up into the air, get blocked Soul by it. comes crashing down onto the opponent with a blazing fist that must be blocked while standing. Soul can avoid the overhead. opponent's attacks while using this move, making it a great choice in the mid range. For the air version of this move. Soul is able to delay the attack by holding the button. Make use of this to oh, bait you out can the hold anti air what? attack. Oh, that's a cool Wild combo. An inescapable grab attack. That wasn't that a full combo, though, was it? Hold on. What was that? Mid -range. For the air version of this move, Soul is able to delay the attack by holding the, the button. Make use hold of this down. to bait out the opponent's anti air attack. Oh, Wild he just throw. kept going. Okay, he jumped back An in inescapable and grab continue the combo. Not continue the combo, but then did a setup. Then a regular throw. Right, what would you say about this part? That wild throw. Wild throw. An inescapable grab attack that deals oh. more damage than a regular throw. Be careful when using this move. That does a shit ton of damage too. That's like the token buster. Incoming attacks if this move misses. Use this to open up opponents who are too focused on blocking on the ground. Night Raid Dang, that's Vortex. cool. Soul charges towards the opponent low to the ground before delivering an uppercut. You can increase the distance traveled oh, by shit. holding Look how the attack button when inputting the command. It is a powerful move that so you can push it or hold it. That's kind of cool. Attacks and leads into combos on him. Dang, look at the However, damage everyone's Soul doing. Unable to cancel this move from his other normal attacks. Use this move to avoid the opponent's attacks and Ooh, get in close. That's cool. It, it went that underneath there. it. Wait. Attacks and use this move to avoid the opponent's attacks and get in Dang, close. Dang, that's cool. Fafnir. Fafnir deals a lot of damage and has little recovery, but it cannot be canceled into from normal attacks. Because oh, of the you just low gotta do recovery, it straight. It is hard for the opponent to counterattack after blocking this move. This move is oh, you can get a combo after it, though. Oh, okay. But you can't do a basic combo into it attacks. and end it with that. Tyrant Rave. An invincible, high damage strike that knocks the opponent back on hit. This move is also Cost 50%. Really oh, okay. I gotta pay attention to that. I see that. Combo with massive damage. Many of Soul's special moves are rushdown moves, allowing him to pressure the opponent while moving forward. He can also keep his opponent Dang, out Soul looks cool. I like how Soul looks in guarded, place. Use Volcanic Viper to catch your opponent off guard. Once the opponent has stopped moving and is focusing on defense, 
Use Wild Throw to deal massive damage. Soul is an offensive character who can easily pressure the opponent by performing his special moves one after another. Thank you for watching. Oh, he only has one that costs 50% tension. Okay, okay. Yeah, Soul looks cool. But I thought he had this, like, uh, this, like, dragon install. I don't know where that is. If he's going to have that or if they just haven't entered it yet. So that was one thing I thought was cool. But, it, like, high level play wasn't really used that much. People said it wasn't worth it. So if they put it back in it somehow, which I, it looks like it's not in it, uh, they'd fix that. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's in it. Darn it.